While spacecraft have opened the heavens to us in many new ways, ground-based telescopes avoid many of their costs and disadvantages. We need ground-based solar telescopes because many of the problems that you face with the sun involve very high resolution, very sharp pictures of the sun, which to do from space would be extremely expensive. The sort of science we need to do to look at the details of the magnetic field on the sun require extremely high resolution, which requires a very large telescope. The cost of putting a very large telescope in space is completely prohibitive. Until recently, such a large telescope was not practical because of blurring by Earth's atmosphere. New adaptive optics technologies let existing ground-based telescopes observe details many times sharper than what was once possible. But to see the smallest fibers of the magnetic field, we need images 33 times sharper than common telescopes can produce, which requires a primary mirror 13 feet in diameter. At last, it seems as though the technology with adaptive optics to take care of atmospheric seeing has gotten to the point where we can address the really basic problems. The extremely small, violently active magnetic fields that control the temperature of the corona and the solar wind, that produce flares, that produce X-ray emission, and it's, it's now technically within our grasp, and it's best done with a ground-based uh, instrument, typically four meters in diameter. Adaptive optics technologies let ground-based telescopes see as sharp as orbital telescopes. Already, existing telescopes hint at new discoveries that lie beyond the limit of current resolution. They also show that we need to do more than take pictures. We need to make movies. What we've learned uh, maybe over the last uh, 10 or 20 years is that um, things happen incredibly quickly on the surface of the sun and on a very uh, small scale in terms of kilometers or, or miles and um, we need to be able to track these very quickly in time we need to be able to uh, see how they change really on time scales maybe of seconds or minutes being able to see those changes at fine scales as they develop will be like the difference between barely seeing a hurricane and being able to track its birth growth and impact Ground-based telescopes also play an important role in educating new generations of solar scientists. As you develop new instruments to put on the telescope, your students can get, become trained in development of instruments, in the use of instruments, and it's simply a much less expensive place and far more effective for education as well as pursuing many aspects of the science. And like students, ground-based observatories can grow and improve over the decades. We can change the instrumentation behind the telescope on the ground much easier, of course, than we can on anything in orbit. So a ground-based instrument allows us to do new science as new science evolves, as new instrument techniques come along, as new technologies evolve. ATST's unique design provides even more capabilities. With a clear light path between sun and instruments, ATST will observe from near ultraviolet through visible light and deep into the exciting unexplored infrared spectrum. This open optical path will also let us explore magnetism in the sun's ultra-faint corona as well as on the disk. Already, a new infrared camera on a smaller telescope has discovered long-sought magnetic waves in the corona. An exceptional design also requires an exceptional place, an island mountain with little turbulence to blur the view or moisture to block the infrared spectrum.